Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's TJ and today I want to show you how you can take these cheap plastic plant uh, holders and make a nice decorative cover out of the barn wood we made in the last video. Let's get to it. I really like the style of these wooden planters at Menards. The cedar looks nice, but overall the quality is very poor. Home Depot had some stained planters, but again the price was really high and the quality wasn't great. I started off by cutting the boards down to the height of the plastic plant holder. I repeated this process until all my boards were cut. Next I needed to make a jig that would hold the boards at the right angle while they were run through the table saw. I did this by making the jig a little bit longer and wider than the boards. For this step it's very important to use a flat and square board so it runs true through the table saw. I marked out offset screw locations which will give us the correct angle while holding the board. Using a combination square I align the board and screw them together. I placed a third screw at the bottom of the jig as a board stop to ensure all the boards were cut evenly. The screws I was using were a little too long and stuck out of the bottom of the jig. I decided to cut these off with an angle grinder. And I sanded the jig down to ensure that it slides smoothly on our table saw. I adjusted the height of the table saw blade to be just above the, our working piece. Then I adjusted the angle of our table saw blade. This will have to be specific to your project. It depends on how long the boards you have are and how many boards you're using to get a complete circle. Just divide how many boards you're using by pi and that should give you your angle. I ran each board through the jig one direction until all of them were cut to the right angle. Well, we're halfway done with cutting the boards. I'll save you the trouble and fast forward. All right, we're back. And I got all the boards cut, but I made a mistake. When I ran the first board through, I ran it through the wrong direction and then I didn't bother checking my work so I ran all the other boards through. So now instead of a nice tapered uh, pattern, it's all straight up and down. But it looks kind of cool so I'm going to go with it. After I got all the boards cut, I laid them out in the pattern that I like. Then I had found this copper plumber's pipe hanging material. I laid that across the boards and used screws to fasten it down. This stuff comes in rolls. It's usually pretty cheap. The copper is a little more expensive, but they have different uh, colors and styles as well. It's not what it's made for, but I think it looks sharp. Speaking of looking sharp, this stuff is actually quite sharp, so make sure you wear gloves when you're working with this. When cutting this material, make sure you leave a little overhang on either end. That way when you put the planter together, you'll have something to fasten to the other end.
With the copper strip fastened on the bottom, I flipped the piece over and it was time to fasten on the top. Now to make the piece more stable, I used a ratchet strap to kind of hold all the boards together while I worked. I placed the plastic plant holder in our wooden planter to check the fit before I continued on. After putting in the last screw, I removed the ratchet strap and looked at our finished product. Now this ended up being more of a facade or a cover for our plastic planter, but I still think it looks nice. After making a few mistakes and learning some techniques, I might redo this project in the future to make a more simple planter. Let me know in the comments section what you think of this and if I should redo it with a different, a different design. Well, that's it. We're finished with our project. Um, it was a little bit more challenging than I imagined it would be. You know, I didn't get some of the math right, but that's okay. If you're a homeowner, or if you're a do-it-yourselfer and not real experienced with these tools like I am, um, all you gotta do is keep trying. I think this turned out pretty nice. And uh, all we gotta do now is fill it with dirt and some flowers and put it outside. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I almost forgot. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.